healthy skeleton, okay? That's what most of us want. But here's a fact, and you just have to live with it. Back pain is a leading cause of disability claims in the United States. And joining us this afternoon is our chiropractic expert, Dr. Jay Broadwin. Thank you so much for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me here, Dee. I don't know how you got me dancing at my, <laughs> at my daughter's wedding. I have no idea. We had an ex a secret x-ray. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't share it with anybody. Wow. But that's how everybody wants that They hope that inside that skeletal system, and the nervous system is in good health. And right, in right. I mean, they call it, and they call it also the musculoskeletal system. Mm -hmm. So many times when people think they have a muscle injury or a strained a muscle, or they pull the muscle, very often the muscle will heal, but that starts leading to their back problem because it attaches to the spine. And when you injure that muscle, it can affect oh. the movement and change the position of the bones. I know one of the things you like to talk about is someone has back pain and they know they need to see a physician but why the hesitation in deciding if I go to my primary care physician or do I go see my chiropractor? Well, what causes that hesitation? You know, still? I've been wrestling with that for 34 years uh -huh. and I think most people now say, I don't want to take medicine. So they don't always go to their primary care doctor and ultimately the primary care doctor doesn't want to see them. They're not able to really help them other than give them medication. Mm. So sometimes though people frustrate me when they say they're going to go to the orthopedic or the neurosurgeon and I'll say, well, do you want to have back surgery? Because that's well, what they do. Well, no, I don't want to have back surgery. Uh -huh. Well, then why are you going to the surgeon? If the uh -huh. duck quacks, you know, uh -huh. it's a duck. So don't go to the surgeon first. So the chiropractor is a back specialist. People need to know that when they say they're going to go to a specialist or a back doctor, the chiropractor should be your first line of defense. And then if things don't pan out from there, we'll send you for an MRI, you'll touch base with our medical doctor, and then we can help you the captain of the ship mm -hmm. and steer you to pain management or surgery if you need to. Because the truth is most of us want surgery as a last resort. Right. There's so you so shouldn't much go there first. Now, you know, if you break something, go uh -huh. there first, but you shouldn't go to those kind of doctors first because ultimately their expertise is surgery. And ultimately your primary care doctor uh -huh most of the time will not tell you get to go to the chiropractor. And he'll write a prescription. <laughs> okay. That's right. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, someone's watching and they're experiencing some back pain. What type of symptoms lead them to you? Well, I mean, if you have pain of any kind that lasts mm -hmm. for three or more days, Okay. Uh, and it doesn't respond to ice or Advil or Tylenol or over-the-counter mm. Motrin or something that you have in your medicine cabinet uh, and it feels different than it has before then you should seek help because usually you know if we need an oil change on a car it's better to do an oil change now yes. than <laughs> wait till the lights all light up on the dashboard and you're stuck on the side of the road mm. so that little injury that they had today if not treated properly, can and will lead to something later. That's why, ultimately, one of the biggest reasons people fill up doctor's offices is, is neck and back pain. It's not always because I moved this sofa today. Uh -huh. It's because I did something that I always do, but I never took care of the little injuries in the past. And they've accumulated, like in the bank, the money's accumulated, the injuries accumulate their damage until one day you do something that you're used to doing, putting on your shoes or pulling on your pants and bam. Now is there any way for you to help us to see what is usually happen or what can happen? What is causing that pain that allows a chiropractor to adjust it? Okay, well with us, <clears throat> when you have back pain you're going to either have muscle pain or you're going to have nerve or disc pain. So what we want to do is go ahead and define that through x-rays and examination. And then based on that, mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and treat the patient. So very much if you have sharp pain, numbness, tingling, burning, weakness, that's all nerve pain. Uh -huh. If you have achiness, stiffness, or pulling, that's muscle pain. But remember, the muscles and the nerves are working together. Mm -hmm. So the spine, when you have an injury, can affect either the muscles or the nerves and the discs in between. So Anything that you haven't had before or doesn't uh -huh. go away or come to any sort of help with over-the-counter stuff, you should seek uh, care. I know that when I had a, an adjustment from you, from one of your um, practitioners, something had moved. That's right. Something had moved. Right. And he said, you're going to fill a pop, but right. I'm just putting you back in place. I had no idea right. I had shifted, Jay. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, first of, all, first of all, I would say that, you know, most people watching mm -hmm. uh, do something with their neck or they twist or uh -huh. they do whatever and they think they're helping themselves. So the pop onto themselves is, is 
when they say they're scared to go to the chiropractor because they think they're going to pop or crack something. Uh -huh. Well, yes, we are, but most people out there do some version of it themselves. And it, I'm just going to go interrupt ahead. you. It feels so much better once you get right. back to where you should have been. It's like Ooh. right, except when you do it, uh -huh. it's like saying. So when I go in the bank today, let me hit the curb on the right. Maybe I'll knock it into place. Ooh. So something may go towards the right direction, but other things may not. So what we're doing is being very specific, mm -hmm. and we're only moving those things that are injured and that are out of place, that are pinching the nerves, irritating the discs, and affecting the muscles, so that ultimately your body can heal properly. Uh -huh. And before they assume that, hey, I've got to pay out of pocket, there are some insurances that cover some. Well, yes. Uh -huh. You know, most, most insurance does cover chiropractic care. We're just like any other place. You don't need a referral. Medicare pays for us. All insurance pays for us. But unfortunately now with everybody's new affordable care that everybody uh -huh. has, most people are realizing, well, you might have insurance, but you have a really high deductible and you have a really high copayment. But yes, your insurance does cover and we'll verify all that for you. No Thank problem. you so much. The back doctor, Dr. Hey, you're Jay welcome. Rowan. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate you. Well, you noticed that the show did start a little late today, and that was because we brought you a live report. And that live report is going to continue on new news, first news at noon. And it is the arrest, the news that entire community has been waiting for, an arrest in the triple homicide in Yupatoy. So stay with us after the D. Armstrong show for that. But coming up, who said life is fair? Someone could become an over- not, that's not fair. Overnight billionaire, just like that, if they have the winning Powerball number. We're giving away some tickets later in the show, but first, we're making another three-ingredient dessert. Easy Oreo truffles, coming up next.